Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special project. It's a PlayStation 5 that needs an HDMI replacement. Unfortunately, it was sent in in pieces because they've started to take it apart. And yeah, so hopefully they didn't damage anything when they did that and we can actually fix this. It looks to have been a little scuffed up. Me. Okay, here's one. And then another. Not too gross. And the meat of it all. I think it's still Hacked, so they didn't get much past this which is good the board doesn't look like it's been actually opened up so okay that's good because <laughs> didn't want any like the liquid metal to like spill out or something crazy like that but the first thing I want to try is just to see if it will power on because it's supposed to power on just not have a just need an HDMI port replacement and if I can tilt this up Without dropping everything. I don't know if you can see. It does indeed need an HDMI port replacement. That is janked up. And okay. the console does power on. And we'll disconnect the fan. It was already kind of disconnected. Okay, let's reroute this. And then See what the big is. There we go. There we go. And that just kind of came off. Come on. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Not, not as scary as I thought it would be. I the, thought there might be more of a problem with the liquid metal, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So there we go. That's the PS5 board. Wow, this is definitely a newer version of the board. So yeah, wow, a lot smaller than the original one, which kind of went like... I don't even know. I had more of a an area over here, didn't it? Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, um, now that I got the board out... You can see better probably here the HDMI port, which is just destroyed. So I'll have to change it. I think it looks pretty good on here at least. It's not been touched past this point. The capacitor is still there. Overall looks good. Obviously the port is itself just damaged. Gonna have to get that off. take this part off. What I'm going to do first is just come in here with some lead solder. So I'll add some flux here. I'm adding some leaded solder to the legs just to help lower the melting temperature of the unleaded solder that's already on the board and hope that that helps ease the port off.
be very careful with that capacitor. Don't want to pick it up by accident. So. There we go. We got some. Okay, now we're gonna come into the hot air, and we want to be careful not to rip any traces, any of the pads. Okay, get it off, and it doesn't really have any rip traces or anything, so that's great. Now here's where I'm missing a vital piece of soldering equipment, a solder sucker, and I don't have one. So, trying to clean out these legs, I used the copper wick to try and clean them out. And here you can see I nick the little capacitor in my attempt to clean it out and dislodge it from its position, which just adds more work to what I need to do. Luckily that didn't go unnoticed and I found it because uh, if I had lost that, that would have really sucked. Now yeah, with the legs cleaned out, the new port just sits right in place, right on top of the pads, and it's very nice. It's very good, very easy. It's actually a very simple fix to remove a HDMI port. They don't have the second row of connections underneath the port that you have to worry about, so you can literally just rest it on top and come in and solder the individual legs. And that really just takes, you know, some flux and some patience to get it done. There we go. And then I know they look good, so I'm just going to come in and check the pins to make sure that they're making a good solid connection. Pretty good. Now the capacitor goes there. I just want to check these over in the corner because it's a little hard to tell with my microscope, but make sure that there's no bridged connections here and that the, the area for the capacitor is all good, and it is. And the only thing left to do now to fix this is reinstall that capacitor. Completely. 
unnecessarily tiny, in my opinion. Nothing super hard about this part, just really tedious. I mean, a very, very tiny capacitor. And, you know, even with very fine tweezers, it's hard to grasp something like this looking through, you know, a microscope. So, if you end up dislodging this capacitor like I did, just know that you can reattach it. You'll be alright. Just take your time and go slow. And then once that was reattached, I come back and fill in these legs with some leaded solder to make sure the new port is secure and stable, and hopefully that won't be any issue in the future. And even though that capacitor is kind of crooked looking, it is making a good connection okay. to the two legs that it's supposed to be attached to, so it's fine. Now that I've fixed it, let's reassemble this. First thing I need to do though is take this off and fix this cable that came loose. Just slides, pops right out, lift it up and out, there we go. Right there, right there. I do like the fact that this part comes off easily enough from the rest of the board uh, in case you do have an issue with one of these USBs, it's not attached to the board, and you can kind of replace it pretty simply. Like so, there we go. So they definitely pulled this without thinking. <laughs> I think it should be okay for the most part. There we go. This is a newer board, so that liquid metal is still pretty fresh. Press down here, press down here, and we're good everywhere. like this and this part goes like this push this down all the way like so yeah on here put in this part right here Just held on with three clips, I feel like. After this goes on somewhere, so I think it goes there. That's about as far as that one goes. There we go.
down. Just put this in place. And we'll clean the fan out for him. A little bit better. And with everything reattached enough to test, let's test it out. All right. Turned it on, blue light, and all right, there we go. It works. All right, thank you for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something useful and you know got a different view of how to replace a HDMI port on a broken PS5.